Hello all and welcome to Music Minute, a hot theory guide to learn those extra concepts the right way, brought to you by StephenJax.com. My name is Steven, today we'll be talking about light motifs, and no, this has nothing to do with light bulbs. So the term light motif comes from German music theory, but the concept has been used everywhere. What it boils down to is a pattern of notes which represents a concrete idea. The notes can be any pattern and any length, as long as it's recognizable. The concrete idea that the pattern represents can be anything you want. Since light motifs are usually used in operatic works, you normally find them representing things like gods and heroes and themes like love, battle, and tension. But really you can have them represent anything. A frog, your pinky finger, a cake, whatever. Right now I'll give you a light motif. This is one that I have made and it represents rain. Have a listen. Did it sound like rain? And then we have this one. This will represent um, a dragon. Now, if you hear these patterns on a piece with that idea in mind, you can get a mental image of rain or a dragon associated with the sounds you hear. It's like you're being brainwashed. Imagine if you keep seeing a dragon on stage whenever the dragon's light motif is being played. Later in the production, imagine you hear just the light motif by itself. You're going to be expecting that dragon to show up. Where's the freaking dragon? Before we move on, I have to mention the main composer associated with the idea of light motif, Richard Wagner. Now, he was not the first one to use the light motif, but he was the most notorious for their use. In his very long operatic work of Der Ring des Nibelung, or the Ring Cycle, he uses hundreds of motifs to represent his characters, weapons, settings, time frames, emotions, actions, and even the ring itself. And as the nearly 16-hour production develops, the leitmotifs evolve and develop right along with the characters in the story. Remember the rain and dragon motifs I gave you earlier? We'll see them in use here. Here's a piece with some rain. And here's a lot of dragons in one place. And now we'll mix the rain with some dragons. See if you can tell what happens. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Music Minute. If you have any comments or questions, or if you have an idea for a future episode, or if you have a light motif that you wish to share, you can let me know on Facebook, the comments below, or directly email me on my website, stephenjacks.com. And don't forget to subscribe for more Music Minutes. This is what I like to do on my free time.